Hey everyone, it's Sarah with RegisterNurseRN.com and in this video I'm going to be going over how to study for the HESI Admission Assessment Exam, also called the HESI A2 exam. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover what this exam is, what content material is typically on this exam, and then give you a study plan on how you can prep for this exam so you can get into the nursing program you want to attend. So first, what is the HESI A2 exam? This is an entrance exam that you take prior to getting into a nursing program. A lot of programs um, want you to take it so they can assess your readiness for the nursing program. And some programs require you to score certain scores on the exam, so you always want to look at the program that you're wanting to attend, what their requirements are, because every program has different requirements. For instance, some programs may want you to score at least an 85% or higher in math, vocabulary, reading, grammar, or anatomy and physiology, while others may want you to score at least a 75% or higher as your composite score. So always check with your program's requirements. Now what is on this exam? Now again, this varies on the program you're attending because some programs require you to take this material and then some programs may require something else. So you always want to check, but typically what's on an exam, you can expect a math section, vocabulary section, reading, grammar, and anatomy and physiology. Now, some univer universities will not require the anatomy and physiology, they'll just want you to take math, vocabulary, and grammar and reading, while now most are requiring the anatomy and physiology. And then other sections on that are the personality section and the learning style. And those typically don't require you to study, it's just asking your personality. Now, some other sections that other programs do um, require are biology, chemistry, and a new one, physics. So again, look at the program you want to attend and see what they require you to take. Okay, now let's go over this study plan on how you can prepare for the HESI A2 and pass it. Okay, first thing you want to do, whenever you're preparing for this exam, you want to buy the study guide for this exam specifically. And the study guide I recommend is the HESI Admission Assessment Exam Review Guide. Um, it's sold by the Elsevier, which is the HESI company which makes this exam. It's the absolute best book students who take this exam, this is how they pass the exam. And you want to get the latest edition available and shop around, look on Amazon, look on eBay and get the cheapest deal you can. Okay, next, you want to start prepping for this exam in advance. Um, nursing programs will offer this exam throughout the year, so look to see whenever you're going to take it, and then start prepping at least one month in advance, because this exam is important. You want to get into your nurse, nursing program. Chances are you've taken all your prerequisites and all you're waiting on is to get into this program, and a lot of schools will only let you take this exam once within a 12-month period, so this is your one chance to get into the program. So you want to study in advance, so at least about a one month. Um, time. Next, again, study the content material that your program requires. Some don't require, again, the chemistry, the biology, and the physics, or anatomy and physiology. So you want to be sure that you tailor your study program to what you have to study instead of wasting your time studying biology when you really didn't have to because it wouldn't be on the exam. And again, you can find that information on the nursing program's website. They, they should have that listed there for you. Okay, so how you want to start prepping. First thing you want to do is you want to get your HESI book and it has a pretest. And you want to take this pretest. And after you take the pretest, you'll get your score and what areas you scored good and not so good in. And you want to assess that and look at that. And tailor your study plan based on that because that's telling you how you're probably not going to do good on the real exam and what you need to focus on. So. What you'll do is say, for instance, everyone is worried about the math part because the majority of people aren't good at math. So what you want to do is say you did really bad on the pretest in math. You want to open up that HESI book and you want to start reading the math section. And in the math section, they'll show you problems that are probably going to be similar to what you're going to find on the exam, how to work them, things like that. So you want to read that section. You want to work those practice problems over and over. And then you probably want to take it a step further if math is not your strong area and find some free online um, practice tests that make you solve ratios and fractions and metric conversions, etc. Because um, that's a lot of the math problems on the exam. So a lot of just practice, practice math over and over. Okay, next, um, another section you have to take probably is the grammar, vocabulary, and reading section. 
lot of people aren't worried about this as much. Um, how you can study for this section is reading the HESI book. That's usually sufficient enough. Um, practice the questions that come in the book. Read the rationales, even if you get the question right, why the answer is right. And um, again, take it a step further if you're nervous about this and find some online quizzes to help you study the section. There's a lot of great free things that you can um, practice grammar and vocabulary with. Okay, next, um, the anatomy and physiology section. This is another section other than the math that students do not like is the anatomy and physiology section. So what you want to do is you want to start out reading this section in the book again and pay attention to those HESI hints in the book. They're in little boxes and they say HESI hints. Um, because you want to make sure you're understanding the medical terminology, organ systems, um, blood flow of the heart, cell structure, things like that. The basic things of anatomy and physiology. Now, if you are a little rusty in this area, say it's been a long time since you've taken anatomy and physiology, or you took the class and you just didn't do good in it, um, I recommend getting the Cliff Notes book. It's a little thin book you can get. It's really cheap. Um, last time I seen it on Amazon, it was around eight to nine dollars, and it just breaks down the basic concepts of anatomy and physiology. It's Cliff Notes, so you'll want to review that, look at that, and also another great book that a lot of students who pass the HESI A2 recommend using is called the McGraws. Hills book. This is a great book that breaks down. It has a good anatomy and physiology section along with a chemistry and biology section. It has practice questions and it's just a good extra supplementation for when you're preparing for this. Okay, and also another thing I recommend if you are nervous about this anatomy and physiology section is um, Quizlet, Quizlet.com. They have free quizzes that you can take that specifically um, geared towards the HESI A2 exam. So, be take, take that if you're worried about that. Okay, next, the biology and chemistry. Typically, um, it depends on the university. This isn't a huge area where um, programs test, but if you do have to take it, what you wanna do is you wanna do the same of how I've outlined for the other ones. Read the section in the book and take practice questions. Studystack.com, again, is a great uh, site to help you with that. It's free, it has practice questions with that, and the McGraw's Hill book is good for that section as well. And then the physics section, this is a relatively new section um, that they've added that universities probably over time is going to require you to start taking. Um, the fourth edition includes this now. I don't know if the earlier editions do, but I know the fourth edition does, which is the latest version as of right now for the HESI A2 exam on the physics. So just read that section, practice the questions and the rationales. Because the key to passing the HESI A2 exam is to practice, 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 practice questions over and over dealing with these content areas. Okay, then after you've done all that, about a week or maybe two weeks prior to your exam day, I recommend that you take the post test that came with the HESI study guide and see how you improved compared to your pretest. And if there's still some strong, some weak areas, say you didn't do too good in the anatomy and physiology area, you probably want to look at that and um, go back and reread and restudy those areas. So that is a study plan on how to study for the HESI admission ass assessment exam. Thank you so much for watching this video and please consider subscribing to this YouTube channel.